I was trying to go to the chat and I think I, I might have tripped it off. I don't know. In any case, uh, you're going to want to take and delete that value from your data set for the part B here. So it's going to be kind of funny. There's going to be an abrupt ending to part two of our video, I guess. So I guess this is a three-parter. Mm -hmm. um, let me paste this into StatDisk. So click on StatDisk online. I'm going to put my data in columns three and four. You can just overwrite columns one and two if you'd like. So mine's in three and four. And like I said, this last outlier here is at the bottom. If I'm going to run a regression, then I want to go to analysis and correlation and regression and work there. Let's do this. Let's um, kind of at least run through a little bit of hypothesis work. So run it like a hypothesis test. This is example F. And I got step one. Step one for us in this section is always going to be this. Beta one equals zero. Beta one is not equal to zero. Always that. Since they're not really giving us a formal hypothesis test, I'm just going to throw out there a common value for alpha. Really, there's only two choices for alpha, 0.05 and 0.01. Step three, enter your data. I already pasted that to you in the chat, so we should be good. So step four, I want to know what the p-value is. Anyone leap ahead of me and find that p-value? What did somebody get? Somebody tell me what they got for the p-value. 0.02254. Excellent. Thank you. So there's our p-value, 0.0225. All right, right there. What's that gonna tell us about our null hypothesis? So step five, down here. Alpha is greater than our p-value or our p-value is less than alpha. What's that tell us about H naught? Rejected. Rejected. Yes, thank you, reject. H not. So that brings us up to here. If we reject H not, then our predicted values come from our regression equation. Use Y hat. Let's see what that regression equation is. That regression equation is, and you got to be careful here. Here's the slope. Negative 0 0.076, we'll call it. Negative 0 0.706x. I think I might have misspoke there a minute ago. But negative 0 0.076x plus 8.353. And that's what you'd use for your predicted value because our p value is less than alpha. The p value is actually kind of on the small side. Now you wouldn't reject that alpha equal 0.01, but eh, you can reject here. There's a part B here. So hang tight because we're almost done with this one. And that is part B is to remove the one outlier point. 
and you can see that one. Let's take a look at the scatter plot. The scatter plot, you've got this nice little hash of points, and you got this one way up here. So this point way up here seems to be driving a lot of what we see here, because that gives you a negative slope. But what if we got rid of that point? So let me go to the data. So click stat disk online. And let's delete that one point. That's why I said to put it at the end, because stat disk doesn't like blank values. Now, when you delete that, don't hit the space bar. Hit the delete key or the backspace because a space bar will put in a, a blank space as a character. And Statis is not going to like that blank character. It's going to tell you, oh, you've got character data. And you're going to look at it and go, what? All right. So let's delete those two points or that, that one point, that pair of data, and rerun the analysis. Analysis, correlation and regression. Whatever columns your data are in, three and four, and bam, whoops, error. Hmm. Let me take a look back here. Maybe I didn't hit delete well enough or something like that. Yeah, somehow that one didn't get deleted. Let's try it again. Correlation and regression. See, a moment ago I had unequal length columns, so it kind of barked at me. Now, again? All right, the first time was instructive, the second time is annoying. That two is still there. All right, I need a witness. The two is gone. If I get this again, we'll quit and I'll have to give everyone A's. Are you guys holding your breath? You're like yeah. praying for it to screw up? Especially because <laughs> you recorded it. <laughs> <laughs> I was rolling the dice a little bit on that one, I won't lie. <laughs> All right. All right. So what's different this time? Hmm. Wow. Well, let's just kind of jump down to step five or step four and step five. So we remove the one point and let's jump down to step four. What's the P value? Now, one p value is exactly one. Thank you. So, what's that put us in step five? What are we going to do? Are we going to reject or fail to reject? Fail to reject. Fail to reject. In fact, were we even anywhere close to rejecting? No. No, you're about as far away from rejecting as possible, right? I mean, one is as bad as a p-value can get if you want to have a hope of rejecting. And you can kind of see that if you look at the actual output here. Let's take a look at the scatter plot. Your scatter plot is just a, a tic-tac-toe of points. In fact, look at the regression line. What's the slope of that regression line? Zero. Zero. Jalal, you asked a question earlier. Well, are they going to give us a uh, Y bar? And the answer is not necessarily. But I'll tell you what. For Y bar, let me go back to our data here. My Y values were in column four if they'll ever oblige me and go back here. <sighs> there we go, column four. So if I wanted to, if I needed to find the Y variable there, I could go to uh, data, explore data, descriptive statistics. 
and I want column four, evaluate data. And there you go. There's the mean four. And if you look back at our, our re regression, the line they drew there was exactly y equals four, because that's what you're going to use for your predicted value. That's all you can use. So how do you get there again, sorry? So you go to data, explore data, descriptive statistics, and then just choose the proper column, the whatever column your y variable's in, and it'll give you more statistics than you would care to look at. But one of them is the mean of the y's, which is four. So there's your y variable. And let me get back to correlation and regression. So three and four. When you look at the scatter plot here of your data, the regression line that they fit, what you're going to use for prediction is just y equals four. It's y equals the mean, or y hat, I should say, equals the mean of your variables. So you had asked that earlier, so I wanted to come back and hit that. So in this case, y hat is 4.00 as opposed to in the first case where we actually had a, a useful regression because we rejected this null hypothesis. So this is what you'd use to make predictions in the first case. This is what you're using to make predictions in the second case. Does that help you out with your earlier question? Same yeah, number. thank you. Yeah, good, good, glad to help. Anything else? I think you guys deserve a break. So let's take a break here and I'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs>